redeem my life. Have faith, my brothers. The Book of Daniel. The author of the Book of Daniel is Prophet Daniel himself. His purpose on writing the book is his prophetic visions to offer hope that God will bring all nations under his rule. Daniel's visions are packed with apocalyptic imagery offering hope to Israelites living in exile under Babylonian rule. Daniel remains faithful to the God of Israel while maintaining influence in the surrounding culture of Babylon. The book is written as an eye-opener to all Christians. The book of Daniel was likely written around 530 BC while Daniel was living in Babylon. Assuming he was a teenager when he was taken to Babylon, Daniel may have been around 90 years old when he wrote his book. Here is a quick overview and summary of the book. It was named after its writer. Daniel's book is a product of his time in Babylon as a Jewish exile from Israel. While still a young man, Daniel traveled to Babylon with a group of young Israeli nobles, men of promise whom the conquering power felt could be of use and service. Once Daniel arrived, the leadership in Babylon renamed him Belteshazzar in an effort to more closely identify him with his new home. Daniel lived there throughout the Jews, 70-year captivity, eventually rising to become one of the only three administrators over the provincial governors throughout the kingdom. Daniel recorded his experiences and prophecies for the Jewish exiles during his time in the Babylonian capital, where his service to the king gave him privileged access to the highest levels of society. His faithful service to the Lord in a land and culture not his own makes him unique among almost all people of scripture. Daniel stands as one of the only major figures in the Bible to produce a completely positive record of his actions. Here's the important encouraging messages from the book of Daniel for our lives. First, Daniel's life is an example of how we can live a life of integrity in a culture that is trying to squeeze us into its mold. These actions are not commanded, they are commended. Second, the world will often turn their back on us and find ways to target our faith. We need to focus on God no matter the destruction or opposition we find in our lives. As Daniel 4 verse 27 says, Therefore, O King, may my counsel be acceptable to you. Atone for your sins with righteousness, and your iniquities with mercy to the oppressed, so that your prosperity may be prolonged.